0.313 okay okay next we look at another example investment with compound interest all right so compound interest is actually calculated based on the accumulated amount of money that change from time to time so the formula view is given by s equals to p times 1 plus r over k to the power n k where s is the accumulated amount p is the principal amount r is the interest rate k represent the number of times the interest is compounded a year and n represents the number of years okay let's look at an example here in example 11 if 1000 ringgit is invested at a rate of 6% per year compounded quarterly all right how much is the amount accumulated after 10 years so here we are given s is the accumulated amount which we are asked to find p is the principal sum which is 1000 ringgit r is the interest 6% per year we change it to 0 0.06 and then k is the number of times compounded so we are told the interest is compounded quarterly quarterly means four times a year okay so therefore k equals to four and n is the number of years which is given as 10. so from here using the formula s equals to p bracket one plus r over k to the power n k so substitute p with 1000 one plus r is 0 0.06 over k, k is 4, and then to the power n, n is 10, k is 4, all right? So from here, 0 0.06 divided by 4 will give us 0 0.015 plus 1, so we will get 1.015 to the power 40, all right? So using the calculator, 1.015 uh, to the power 40 will give us 1.015. 81402 times 1000 the answer is 1814.02 so that is how we calculate the compound interest and the accumulated amount all right